Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be opening up 61 super containers. This is all I've managed to collect so far. I do have a few more in the works, like in the combat missions. If I go over to the combat missions. I think it's birthday. Ah, right here. I do have another one that I'm working on, but probably is still the day out, and I'd rather get this video done sooner rather than later. And I'm looking at purchasing a ship from the Research Bureau, but I've got to do a little bit more work to that, so I figured, you know what, I'm just going to get this video done, get it out to you guys, and then if I get anything else in the, uh, in the future, we can look into that. But right quick, just before we go uh, too much further, I just want to show you guys the uh, odds up that are associated with a super container and this is the main article and if we go down here this kind of breaks down i'll post the link to this in the description so you guys can go and check it out yourselves but essentially this is a pretty good breakdown now here's the thing here's what i'm going for i am going for a ship not just any ship i am going for the julio cesare now there is an asterisk here that has been withdrawn. However, Sea Lord Mountbatten just drew one this morning. This is Monday. He just made a video about it this morning. Okay, I don't know if it was this morning, but he drew it sometime today. Or sometime in the past few days. Um, there are a few in here that I don't have. Like, I don't think I have the Kamikaze. I do have the Kamikaze R, I believe, but I don't have the Kamikaze. And you know how they play with that. I might end up getting that. I don't have the Nikolai, so I might end up getting that. I really don't want it. I'm trying to keep myself to tier 5 to tier 10 ships, but, you know, whatever. It To me, it just seems stupid that they have no bonuses for tier 2 to 4 ships, even if it's something as stupid as a try your luck bundle or even just a stupid gift container. If they had them, I'd buy them. They don't have them, so I don't collect them. But anyway, let's head back to the world of warships and we can get started. Now, I'm, just like normal, I'm not going to narrate this entire spiel, but I am going to call out something if I see it. So let's get started. First one coming up. We're going to get a lot of economic bonuses here, I know. And signals and probably camouflages. Oh, looks like we got steel. That's always good. 1500 steel. That's pretty good. And I think if I remember right, I'm just going to go back to the chances page. Ooh, doubloons. 1000 doubloons. It looks like steel is a 2% chance. So. We might be working with good RNG at the moment. I don't think there's a pity function where after, you know, 50 containers, you're guaranteed a ship. I don't think that or 100 containers or whatever it is. So I don't think I'm guaranteed a premium ship. And there are some premium ships I don't have. So even if I do get it, I don't know if I'll actually get it. Sorry, I had to step away there for a second. Back to it. Oop, more steel. That's good. If I had to choose between steel and coal, I'd choose steel every time. Not just because it does technically give you more. I actually want to know just how much more. Okay, no, it's the same. You know, 1500 coal versus 1500 steel. I'd rather take the steel, though, because steel can become coal. Coal can't become steel. Which I think they're missing out on a uh, on a mechanism there that could be used to make the money. Like, let's say one piece of steel goes into 10 coal. Let's say 15 coal can go into one steel. You're going to lose money whenever you're trading back and forth. So if you need a little bit of coal, you can purchase a little bit of coal. If you need a little bit of steel, you can purchase a little bit of steel. I get why they did it, because they don't want people to mine steel. I totally get it, but 
If they wanted to do that, why do they make it available in super containers and other containers where you can win steel? Just saying. 50,000 free XP, that's going to be good for my research points. And that's another thing. With all these economic bonuses, I can really run through my... Uh, I can really run through the research points really fast. Seven days. Not, not that I need that. I think I'm still plus a thousand free uh, premium days. So. Ooh, what do we get? Ah, dang it. Ah, it is a ship that's been on my to-get list, but I didn't really want to get it. It's kind of a crappy ship. Bummer, oh well. Ship is still a ship, so... Well, the steel I'm getting, I can probably get a uh, decent ship. Probably just buy one. I'm not that I need it. I didn't use up all my RNG at that FR25 because I thought I super containers are basically the only place to find it. They took it out of the Santa's mega gift containers, you can't get it there anymore. That's kind of what's a bummer because I can win the FR22 in uh, super containers, I can't win it in or I can win that in the mega gift container, I can't win. No, I can. You get what I'm saying. I can't win the out of end, so. Oh, ooh. Ah. Well, it's, it's nice to have. It's nice to be able to get premium ships, but it's not the premium ships I want. Ah. A lot of doubloons coming my way, too. I'm surprised I haven't gotten more free XP. The free XP was a little bit more plentiful. There's coal. I can always use coal, especially since that new tier 10. Wish they'd allow me to be able to sell my premium time back to them, even if it's only for credits. Like, I totally get you don't sell it for credits, but sell it for credits. I'm, it isn't in the inventory. I've looked, but maybe it's somewhere where I haven't looked, so. I'm actually surprised. I don't think I've gotten too many camps. I don't think I've gotten any camps. Unless we remove those from the camps. I do love that I'm stocking back up on my signal. Signal. More <laughs> Cool. 
Believe it or not, my first premium ship was actually in Super. I got the end. Very good ship. One of my favorite ships. Oh well, so we didn't get it, but let's just take a quick look at what our uh so I got quite a bit of uh doubloons. I don't remember what I was at before. I'm gonna have to look back in the video, but I believe I was at I believe I was at thirty two. So I got seven thousand doubloons. That's enough steel to buy a ship. It really is, but I'm going to wait for coupons just because steel is such a commodity. Wait for a, um, I'm going to wait for a coupon to come up, and then I'm probably going to end up buying either the Mecklenburg or the Incomparable. Honestly, I'll probably just end up putting them on a wheel and just spinning it and saying whichever one it lands on I get. Uh, but... So that'll be coming up soon. I'll buy one of those. Uh, Cole, the um, tier 10 Italian DD is coming out. I'm probably going to end up having to transfer some steel over to Cole for it. But, oh well. It's not like I don't have any steel at all. But uh, I'm collecting coal containers right now. I'm getting, I'm probably getting 2,000 coal a day. So if you figure it out that out of that 2,000 coal a day, it's saving me 200 steel a day. All the coal I get, the more coal I get, the better off I'll be. But uh, let's go look at my inventory right quick. So I can see what my signal count and my economic bonus count is. Let's look at camouflages. I'll see if I got a camouflage so I can sell. Might as well just sell them. They're not worth it. Right? To me, it's so stupid. I, I totally get that they wanted to remove the economic functions from the, from the camos. I'm actually very glad they did. But I would have kept the minus 3% to concealment and minus 5% to uh, dispersion on it. Just so that people still have a reason to run camos. Now nobody has a reason to run camos. Nobody has a reason to purchase camos. What was the point? Like, seriously, what was the point? So if we look here, crap load of India x-rays. I'm going to sell some of those just for credits because I'm still running a little on credits. A lot of Ciro Bravos, which is an extension of Hydro, if I remember right. Hydro Action Time and DFAA Action Time. I don't really use those too much. Smoke Generator Consumable. Don't use those too much. I only really use those on my, on my American DDs and DDs with smoke screens like that, such as the Friesland or Run Again. Fire extinguishing time, I'm not going to sell as many of these because that is something that I should probably keep a pretty good stock of. So I'll keep 400 of those. Uh, which one get? Probably. I don't run those at all just because detonations are... They happen so infrequently that to me it's not really worth it. Sell some of those. Keep those, it's not really worth selling, but I I got quite a few uh quite a few signals there. Let's go economic bonuses. That's on the mines right now, so that's where it is. Stock of the blue, pretty good stock of the green. Pretty good stock of the gray. Honestly, I was kind of stupid when these first came out. I transferred them all down to base and I sold them all. I really should have kept them because Especially these, the red ones, holy crap. You run those in operations and they make bank. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers by the end of the year. I realize that I need to make videos in order to make that happen. So I'm going to start trying to make videos a little bit more. I still got a lot of these, uh, a lot of these festive rewards to do and here's one thing that i have a question about what happens to these festive rewards if you don't use them like if you're left over with like 20 of these festive rewards what happens you know do they just stay here or can you use them for something i don't know so if anybody has the answer please feel free to leave that in the comment section but anyway take care stay safe and i'll see you all next time